What's up, guys? Welcome back for the next episode of Ninth Dawn 3, Shadow of Earth Theal. I don't think I'm going to be saying that entire name going forward, but here we are, Melee Only Run. Um, I batch record these, so I've not gotten the answer to the question that I asked before, which was, uh, is it alright for me to use healing spells? Not like I have enough points in this stuff to get that anyway, and oh no, a slime! It's okay. Not that big a deal. It's not like the mushroom that we fought earlier, that guy. Healing spells are for nerds. Real men heal by eating what they kill. Alright, rock band. <laughs> Alright, there's another one of those dang, dang old mushrooms. Haha, <laughs> I leveled up since the last time I fought one of your kind. Yeah, yeah, you jerk, you. Alright, we'll continue grabbing everything by rolling our bodies into it. Alright, so we're making our way downtown, walking fast. Faces pass. A da na 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 na. Yeah, still have yet to do any any real crafting. Only level five Zans be slacking. I'm trying, my dude. I'm trying. I can only kill so fast with this crappy stick. <laughs> still haven't invested in a an actual weapon yet. Just swinging this stick to and fro all whoopy doopy like. It's my whoopy doopy stick. Whoopy doopy. I was kind of hoping I would have found a different weapon in one of these chests. Hey, look, guys! A weapon! <laughs> How about that? Okay, so what have we got here as far as weapons are concerned? We've got ourselves an iron longsword. We'll put that on right now. Um, that's probably going to be the best thing we've got. Uh, it's got to be a little bit faster than what we were using, too. So, hey, uh, look at that, guys. We're uh, moving on up. It's almost like we... Look at that. Oh, oh, triple digits. Let's go. Unstoppable. <laughs> can't, I can't be defeated now, you fools. You, you messed up. You gave me... You gave me a real weapon. Only real men make their own weapons from what they kill. Okay, well, I'm trying to make a, a snakeskin shield. That's a, that's another reason why I uh, decided to come down here. To get uh, ingredients and whatnot. We're gonna do this whole thing here. There we go. It's a little dangerous sometimes to group up the enemies like that, but it's faster to kill them like that. So you kind of have to figure out what you're doing like to do that in the little goblin place. Get a whole bunch of enemies all clumped up together and murk them, but as you can see, we are taking a little bit of damage. Snakeskin mitts. That's nice. Catalyst. Ooh, look at that. An iron axe, guys. That's, uh... That's not too bad. We could probably get away with using that. Uh, and it'll give us extra experience gain. Let's use that. Um, I guess we could dual wield for now until we get, uh, you know, our little uh, thing. Yeah, this will give some one percent extra HP, which equates to, you know, a little bit. <laughs> Very scientific terms there. But yeah, we'll go ahead and dual wield for now. Not too bad. Unless you guys don't want me to dual wield, I don't care. It is what it is at this point. It does behoove us to have a higher DPS output, though. As you would expect. But anyway. How much snakeskin do we even have right now? 15? I don't know if that's enough for the shield. Take that. You slimy bastards. Alright. 
That probably opened up that little room on the bottom right there. I, I cannot remember, but uh, if I were making a dungeon, that's how I would design it. You never block or dodge, so more damage seems good. Yeah, yeah. The dodging in this, it, it doesn't give you iframes. All it literally does is move you out of the way of attacks. Which, I mean, it is useful, but it's not really uh, what, I'm, what I'm about here. But yeah, I think shields, I don't know if they give you an innate ability to block passively or if they just give you a defense boost. Truth be told, I don't think I've ever actually used shields in this game yet. That did not do what I thought it was going to do. So I don't know what that thing unlocked. Oh no. I'm a liar again. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know, maybe that opened up that door on the bottom right again? I don't freaking know, man. I don't freaking know, man. All right, we might be able to find some stuff. Oh, there's a two-handed greatsword there. I used uh, two-handed greatswords for a minute there. They were pretty nice, actually. They didn't have any arm armor on. Uh, I could run around with this. Let's do it. Let's run around with a big old honking greatsword. Just whack people. Yeah, but I used a I used a great sword for a second in the other game. Has natural cleaving abilities like everything in this game, so that's pretty nice. Pressing buttons, no big deal. No big deal. Take that. Bonk, 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 bonk. I'm just bonking everything. I should probably let my health regenerate back. Or just level up like an actual boss. Can't be stopped. I'm invincible. You fools, you gave me an actual weapon. Eh, although, I still don't want to mess with these, uh, enemies that can murder me. <laughs> oh, you know, like these little guys. Yeah, little, little cheaty, but whatever. It's fine. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Run! <laughs> guys and their stupid magic. You know, it's weird. The poison doesn't do what you think it does. It doesn't damage you. Which is a little weird, but... It's fine, I suppose. Look at us getting all this snakeskin stuff. How neat. Got ourselves a snakeskin vest. Gives us a little bit of extra experience gain, which is neato. This would have been our first bow if we were using bows, which, you know, we're not, so... But that would have been interesting. You know, I, I don't understand the point of using iron poles. Um, they're still slow attack speed, but they still do as much damage as, like, iron axes and stuff like that, which is a little weird, but I don't know. Um, have not seen a point... Um, by the way, if you guys if you guys would rather I use a particular type of weapon, let me know in the comments. Um, I just kind of landed on sword and shield just because I haven't used shields, but if you guys would rather I use something else, you know, like the pole arms that I just discussed, uh, let me know. I'm uh, pretty much open to whatever. Don't really don't really care. You know, you guys are the ones that are going to be enjoying this. I'm just going to be playing it. Alright. 
Hey. Okay. Open that. We still have a ways to go. Mushrooms! Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna be doing that little corner maneuver quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, just in case you guys were curious, I will be doing that. It's a little cheaty, I know, but, uh, you know, I, I would rather not die. Oh, you also lose a little bit of experience when you die, but honestly, it's negligible. To say the least. Uh, yeah, north is not where we need to go. I think we need to just continue going this way. Look at that. Freaking undead rats. Getting new enemy types. Let's go. So, uh, just so you guys know, as far as, uh, how much time I put in my last save and the level that I got to in that one. I got to level 50, right? I got to level 50, um, and it took me over 30 hours. And that's including time that I spent smithing and all that, because uh, that does take up a long time. If you're not familiar with this game, there's a lot of grinding um, if you want to do certain things. And that's a lot of snakes. But yeah, um, I did spend a significant amount of time grinding out blacksmithing and whatnot. Um, I'm pretty sure at least, at least five hours of my last playthrough was dedicated to uh, trying to do smithing and whatnot. And I didn't even get that skill up to 100. I think I got it up to like 50. 60 maybe, if that. My mining wasn't 100, I know that. Uh, the only skill I got up to 100, I believe, was bartering. And that was just because I made a bunch of money. Like, I think right now, if you were to look at how much my other character has as far as money, it's somewhere around 400,000, which isn't like a lot, but that is also including, you know, stuff that I happen to be selling and buying, and I'm not going to use this heavy sword. Uh, that's for sure. That's a crappy find. So anytime you see those red named enemies, uh, they're just like slightly tougher versions of the ones that you, uh, you fight ordinarily, and they always drop a piece of equipment. It's not always a weapon, but it's a piece of equipment, at least. I'm sure I'll remember the puzzle that we're about to see once uh, once we get into this. Getting surrounded is a bad idea in this game. Okay, nothing there. Just making sure. Oh, those those spiders are. Uh, very dangerous. They've all got very powerful magic. They're not that strong in terms of HP, so if you can get them to waste their first abilities, then uh, it's not too bad. But man, they can hit real hard when they want to. Like, they could easily kill me in maybe one attack, two... Nah, maybe not one attack, but a lot quicker than, ah, than I care to... Uh, Admit, see, like, just that little glancing blow did, like, 126 damage, which is not insignificant. I will say that. So, we're gonna have to be a little careful with some of these, uh, encounters. Some of them could do some very serious amounts of damage if we're not careful. We'll have to be very careful here. They're definitely the priority. No, 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 no. No, 
thank you. Heck, we might even get to like level 10 by the time we get done with everything. And literally, oh, there's our boss. Oh, run, oh, run, 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 run. Named enemies and bosses in this game are, oh, no joke, no joke. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, this is what this boss fight is going to be, so I apologize, but uh, this is really my only option. <laughs> oh, be careful, sometimes they reposition on you like that. Come on, Nord Dog! Come on, Dog! <laughs> Okay. Used up a lot of potions, man. Like, a lot of potions, actually. Come to me, little snaky boys. Come to me, little danger noodles. And die. Okay. Got our first uh, relic. That's pretty neat. Got a, a dagger and a, and a mace. Oh, and some sandals. Which will give us a little bit more HP. Uh, now, do we want to use any of these weapons that we've found? I mean, the iron short sword's pretty decent. 80 damage. Well, if I equip both of these, my attack's only 123. That's actually not really amazing. Eh, we'll just stick with what we've got for now. It'll be fine. 30 green snake skins. 10 gold snake skin. Not too bad, I guess. Got some decent armor. Uh, we're only at 75% completion on this. I think we've got another one or two pickups. I think the percentage of completion is based on, uh, let's see, skill coins and also some other things that you can get, like uh, stat bonuses and whatnot. Okay, we did all that there. What have we not done? Uh, bottom left. Right, bottom left, there's uh, that whole thing. Uh, we should leave through the boss chamber, actually. That'll give us a straight shot south. Which, hopefully, hopefully, will lead where we want it to. Do, 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 do. All right, this should give us access to that area that we did not open before. Well, we kind of opened it. It's like halfway. We're going to need these uh, rat tails as well. But yeah, also, uh, let me know what monster you guys want me to try and capture for our little mascot for the series. Um, it's not going to be like a huge damage dealer. But, uh, hey, I think we could at least have somebody as a mascot. Okay, so that only put us up to 87%. That was 75 to 87, which means there's probably one, one more collectible. This is the same, but we're already rocking all the snakeskin stuff anyway, so we might as well put it on. Look at this. What do we need? We need some shorts or some pants or something. And then we'll we'll be complete with our green setup. Okay, if I were a coin, where would I be? 
Oh, right. Up at the top, by the exit, there was a locked room. If I remember correctly. Which I do, because my memory is impeccable. That was a joke. Feel free to laugh. He says as he opens the map to once again confirm whether or not to go left or right. <laughs> okay. Uh, this room is not open. We have to go all the way around. We should have gone left instead of right. Sands, you fool. Alright, so go through here and then we'll go north. And we already opened that. You fool. And kill you. And this dark spider's gonna be kind of painful a little bit. We got ourselves a rat tail ring, actually. What is this? Dark Defense 1. I mean, I don't have a ring yet, so... You can freaking wear six rings in this game, by the way. Have you ever seen an RPG that has let you wear six rings before? I did not think so. Alright, that's 100%. 100% on uh, our guy here, and we are going to take... You know, give me the Intelligence Scroll, I guess. I mean, the experience might have been a better idea, but whatever. It is what it is. Stats are fine to take, because we can get all the experience we want from killing enemies. We just have to not be, you know, lazy. Well, that was, uh, not too bad, as far as a, a first little dungeon is concerned. Um... Might have actually been slightly higher a level than I should have done, but whatever. Not that big a deal. If, if I could do it, I, I definitely wasn't under-leveled, I suppose. This game doesn't exactly pull its punches with uh, its levels. Um, if you are not meant to be somewhere, the game will teach you that very quickly. I.e., you will die. Like... Pretty hard. Not gonna lie. You will die. Okay, let's see if uh, we can maybe get some of this cooking done. 15% success rate. If you really want to min max your levels and whatnot in cooking, um, or just any crafting really, um, do it one at a time. It just takes a little while. I haven't done a side-by-side -side comparison of all of your, uh, you know, skill points and whatnot that it takes, but uh, look at that—we got freaking one. Um, but now we can make uh, we can make some of this stuff. Uh, maybe boring vegetables was actually level 15, not 10. Oh well, it's not that big a deal. Um, can we make any of this? We can make five. Probably more like one or two. Or none. None's cool too. Either way, free experience. Well, not free experience, but you understand. You understand. Okay, so they want us to go through, uh, this little itty bitty dungeon down here. Uh, oh, and as far as I can tell, you don't have limited inventory space. You can just keep getting stuff. Um, so, don't feel like you have to rush into selling stuff and whatnot. You can kind of do with it almost as you please, as far as your inventory is concerned, anyway. I'm not going to waste a lot of time killing these guys. Um, we can go in here and talk to this guy, and he'll tell us to open up the door for us. I don't think... I've done this where I haven't talked to him, so I'm just going to not talk to him and see if he has any different dialogue. Take that. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. 31 damage. B 
be still. Wood plated shoes, huh? Better defense. Better defense. I'll take it. This, uh, little dungeon we're about to enter also isn't even that, uh, isn't even really that long, I don't think. Almost level nine. That's neat. As far as I can tell, you don't really have, like, level requirements per se. You've just kind of got skill level requirements for some stuff. You know, like uh, the crafting recipes and whatnot. You need to be of a certain level in any given skill to do certain things and whatnot. Like uh, how we need to be rank 15 in cooking to access the other spells. Not spells, sorry. The other, uh, other uh, recipes. That's the word that I was looking for. Okay. Uh, I never did put this thing on either. Movement speed four percent. Yeah, that's uh, that's just that's just better. Be nice if we could find a book too. But uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath for that just yet. Took me a while to get a book in the last uh, last save. So not too. Uh, not too bothered by that. This is a relatively small dungeon. The Loopy Ruins. Um, I think we've got a goblin to fight for our boss in this area. Oh, this poor sap. Bleeding out. What a loser. Now, this section was actually uh, fairly easy when you play as uh, any type of a ranged character. Because you can just literally stand back here and attack down the corridor. But uh, this time, not as easy, but we should be fine. Especially considering the dungeon that we already went through. But, you know what they say, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. And always forget that. That's really easy to miss, your first, first run through here, so you gotta be a little careful about some of that. Alright, uh, yeah, we'll have to go through that other way. Hey, you're still alive, tiny little rat. Got like stricken with disease. We got plagified. See, disease does what you think poison would do. It damages you. I think poison just makes it so that you're either weaker or maybe you can't heal as much or something. I don't know. I haven't really looked into all the status effects just yet. And I uh, took a little bit of damage there. Let's uh, let's spend some points here. You know what? Let's uh, let's just do that. Oh, I did not save. There we go. How many... I've got eight coins available. Could... rank into some of these things. Uh, can't do any of those. Can't do any of those. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Uh, life Force might be a good idea to unlock. It only costs one point. Same with Warrior and Fortitude. They're very useful. Let's go ahead and do these. There we go. What do we need for these? Level 10. Could get extra life. Uh, we'll stick with what we've got for there right now. 
So we're up to 321 for attack. I probably should have checked to see what uh, the difference was, but... Oh well, we're doing easily at least another 100 damage, which uh, is pretty good, considering it just cost one skill point. Really don't need to be killing these poor defenseless rats at this point. But nobody said anything about spiders! life do we have right now? We've got uh, 1,355. Not too bad. All things considered. Ah, spider. Another cloth belt, huh? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. One defense and one HP. Not exactly ringing my bell, if you know what I mean. Oh, that mushroom would have been terrifying if this were, you know, 20 minutes earlier. Too bad, mushroom. Too bad. You can really tell the, the game means for you to come to this dungeon first. With some of these things we're finding and the enemies we're fighting. I mean, for crying out loud, we still got rats in here. It's okay. We need the rat tails. Not too, uh... Not too bothered by it. So you could have lived, because I did not notice you before. You fool. Back at the beginning. That is a potentially dangerous room. If I were not such a badass. I say that, but this this freaking goblin boss is gonna be a handful. I can I can tell. Die. Die, you Oh nice. Found ourselves a cape. I like the capes. They actually show up on your body. I know it looks like it's not a cape, but Trust me, it's a cape. Guaranteed. Hey, bro! Who opened the gate? I can't thank you enough. Here, please take this as a reward. Uh, sure. Thanks, bud. Goodbye. Snakeskin cloth thingy. You know what, actually, that's probably a good time to end the episode. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. If you're watching on the stream, stick around. I'm going to keep playing. Bye-bye.